For years, South Korea dreamed of soaring among the world's fighter jet giants, and now that dream has taken flight. What began as a small-scale defense effort has morphed into a global tech powerhouse, crafting weapons for land, sea, and sky. At the heart of this rise stands the KF-21 Borome, a sleek, multi-role marvel ready to shake up the skies. With production now underway, South Korea isn't just defending its borders, it's storming into the global arms arena. Get ready to meet the jet that's rewriting the rules of 21st century air power. From ambition to reality, the KF-21 journey, the vision for an indigenous South Korean fighter jet has existed for many years. However, serious development on the KF-21 Borome, named after the Korean word for hawk, began less than a decade ago. In this short span, South Korea has achieved what many nations have struggled to do over decades. Just recently, the nation celebrated a significant milestone as the production of the KF-21 officially commenced. The project is spearheaded by Korea Aerospace Industries, the country's primary aerospace manufacturer in collaboration with Indonesia, which holds a minority share in the venture. While South Korea holds 60% ownership, Indonesia owns 20% and the remaining 20% is divided among private South Korean partners. This partnership has not only distributed the financial burden, but also extended South Korea's diplomatic and industrial influence. Korea Aerospace Industries is not new to the world of military aviation. The company previously developed successful aircraft such as the KT-1 Basic Trainer and the F-A-50 Light Combat Aircraft. The experience gathered from these programs laid a strong foundation for the more ambitious KF-21 Borome project. Initial Production and Delivery Timeline In an impressive display of rapid development, six prototypes of the KF-21 have already been built and tested to meet strict operational standards. With initial production contracts recently finalized, the first batch of 20 KF-21 aircraft is scheduled for delivery to the Republic of Korea Air Force by the end of 2026. These early units will serve a dual purpose. Not only will they bolster the South Korean military's capabilities, but they will also allow Kai and its partners to refine the design and performance before ramping up to full-scale production. The move marks a significant step toward full operational readiness and export potential. Technical Marvel The Anatomy of KF-21 Borama The KF-21 is classified as a 4.5-generation multi-role fighter, placing it in direct competition with some of the world's most renowned aircraft such as the Mirage, Eurofighter Typhoon, AT-16 Fighting Falcon, and Sweden's Saab Gripen. While it doesn't aim to completely match the stealth capabilities of fifth-generation aircraft like the F-35 Lightning II, it offers an impressive balance of advanced features, versatility, and cost-effectiveness. Design and Structure The KF-21 features a sleek, modern design tailored for multi-role operations. Measuring 16.9 meters in length, 11.2 meters in wingspan, and standing 4.7 meters tall, it strikes a perfect balance between size and agility. The aircraft boasts a maximum takeoff weight of 25,500 kilograms, allowing it to carry a significant weapons payload while maintaining impressive speed and maneuverability, engine and performance. Powering the KF-21 are two General Electric F-400 and 14 GE-400K afterburning turbofan engines, produced under license by Hanwha Aerospace in South Korea. These engines enable the aircraft to reach blistering speeds of up to 2,250 km per hour Mach 1.8, while offering an operational range of approximately 1,000 km. As the program matures, South Korea has expressed ambitions to increase domestic production of critical components, including engines, to reduce reliance on foreign suppliers. Variants for different missions The KF-21 is not just a one-size-fits-all jet, it's a whole family of specialized warriors designed to dominate any mission thrown its way. The KF-21E a swoops in like a digital ninja, jamming enemy radars and disabling air defenses much like the U.S. Navy's E-A-18G Growler. 
Then there's the KF-21EX, stepping closer to true stealth with internal weapon bays and radar-evading features that edge it toward fifth-generation territory. For global buyers, the KF-21S offers a customizable playground, allowing nations to tweak and tailor the jet to fit their unique combat needs. This versatile lineup makes the Borome not just a fighter, but a full aerial toolbox ready for any battlefield scenario. Advanced Avionics and Weapon Systems The KF-21 packs a serious technological punch, boasting state-of-the-art active electronically scanned array radar, an infrared search and track system, and a high-tech electronic warfare suite that gives pilots unmatched battlefield awareness and the ability to jam or evade enemy threats with ease. But its real muscle lies under the wings, where up to 10 missiles and bombs can be loaded for any mission imaginable. Whether it's launching long-range meteor missiles to dominate distant dogfights, firing advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles and infrared imaging system tails for lightning-fast air combat, or deploying AIM-9X sidewinders for close encounters, the KF-21 is ready. It can strike deep with Taurus cruise missiles, cripple ships with harpoons, and deliver surgical ground attacks using precision-guided bombs. This diverse arsenal transforms the Borome into a true multi-role warrior, equally lethal in the sky, over land, or across open seas, making it a nightmare for any adversary, overcoming the challenges of fighter jet development. Developing advanced fighter jets is an extremely challenging task that only a few nations have successfully mastered. The list includes the United States, Russia, China, and several European nations. South Korea's entry into this exclusive club is a testament to its technological capabilities, industrial discipline, and strategic vision. The KF-21 program serves not only as a modernization tool for the South Korean military, but also as a catalyst for its growing defense export ambitions. Many experts believe that its true significance may lie in its potential to capture a sizable share of the global fighter jet market. South Korea's big opportunity, the global fighter jet market, is in the middle of a seismic shift, and South Korea is perfectly positioned to swoop in and seize the opportunity. Once a titan in this arena, Russia's dominance has crumbled under the weight of geopolitical turmoil, suffocating sanctions, and growing skepticism over the reliability of its jets, causing its exports to nosedive. China, despite its aggressive strides in military aviation, struggles to convince buyers. Many nations eye Chinese jets warily, concerned about hidden technology flaws, transparency issues, and the political strings that often accompany such deals. Meanwhile, America's cutting-edge fighters, though technologically superior, come with sky-high price tags, tight export controls, and a hefty dose of political entanglements that leave some potential buyers uncomfortable. On the European front, France's Dassault Rafale has enjoyed a surge in interest, but its limited production capacity delivering only 13 aircraft in 2023 leaves many countries waiting in a long queue. This vacuum creates a rare opening for South Korea, whose KF-21 Borome offers a sweet spot, advanced capabilities, fewer political complications, and faster delivery schedules. With manufacturing muscle, technological prowess, and diplomatic neutrality, South Korea is emerging as the unexpected star of a fiercely competitive market, ready to offer nations a powerful yet pragmatic alternative. In a world where defense needs are rising, but options are shrinking, the KF-21 may very well become the new darling of air forces worldwide. South Korea's competitive edge this changing landscape creates a perfect opening for South Korea. The KF-21 Borome offers an advanced, highly capable, and cost-effective solution that bridges the gap between fourth and fifth generation jets. With robust domestic production capabilities, South Korea can ramp up manufacturing to meet global demand quickly. South Korea's track record for reliability, transparency, and strong political neutrality adds to the KF-21's appeal. Nations looking for advanced fighter aircraft without the political strings attached to American, Russian, 
or Chinese jets may find the KF-21 particularly attractive. Moreover, South Korea's willingness to offer customized export versions gives client nations the flexibility to modify the aircraft according to their operational needs and budget constraints a significant advantage in competitive defense markets. The Broader Strategic Implications The KF-21 Borome is not just about economic benefits. It also plays a crucial role in South Korea's strategic defense posture. By replacing its aging fleets of F-4 Phantom and F-5 Tiger aircraft, South Korea will significantly enhance its aerial capabilities in the increasingly volatile Asia-Pacific region, where tensions continue to rise. Additionally, the successful development of such advanced technology solidifies South Korea's standing as a technologically advanced and self-reliant nation. It also sets the stage for future innovations that may eventually result in South Korea developing a full fifth-generation stealth fighter entirely on its own. If you enjoyed this deep dive into South Korea's game-changing KF-21 Borome, smash that like button and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more cutting-edge defense updates and aviation breakthroughs. And as always, stay tuned, because the sky is no longer the limit.